So the table shows information about the speeds of 100 lorries. And they've been categorised into six different intervals. We've got eight lorries, for example, travelling between 100 kilometres per hour and 120, up to and including 120, two between 0 and 29, between 20 and up and including 40, and so on. So we need to fill in our cumulative frequency. So the first uh, one's been done, as they're always the same. But you must remember the second one is from 0 to 40. So now we have to take the 0 to 20 and the 20 to 40 to go from 0 to 40. So it's 2 plus 9. Quite straightforward, really. And then we have to add on our 23. So we're going from 0 to 60 to what was in the 0 to 40. So 11 and 23 gives us 34 for the next category. Then we've got 31 to add on. 31 to the 34 to go up to the 80. That gives us 65. Then we have another 27 to add on to take us up to the 100. So you can see 27 is between 80 and 100. So add that to what you've got from 0 to 80. So 27 and 65 is 92. And finally we add on the 8 to get 100. That's fairly straightforward for one mark. Now when you plot this onto the XY um, to the cumulative frequency diagram. Notice your cumulative frequency is on the vertical axis, so that's going to be your Y coordinate. Now, your X coordinate, and this is where people can go wrong, your X coordinate is at the end of the interval. You're saying that there were two people travelling up to 20 kilometres per hour, 11 people travelling up to 40. So the X coordinate is not the midpoint, it is the end. And that is the most common mistake with these. So I'll write them all in. So you can see where the coordinates you're going to have to plot. And finally 120. So we have six points to plot. So we're plotting 20 with 2, 40 with 11, 60 with 34, 80 with 65, 100 with 92, and 120 with 100. So I'll now show you that plotted on the graph, going through any um, difficulties which the graph might present as well. So what we need to know is on the graph, um, coming down the cumulative frequency we can see that there's 10 squares for 20 so each little square stands for 2 and going across there are 5 squares for 10 so the same one square stands for 2 so we'll now plot the points taking those um, division of squares into account so I've done this by hand so it won't be exactly correct you can see where I've marked some points here but that should give you the idea and as long as you've plotted the coordinates um, which we wrote um, previously, in the right places, remember that each square stood for 2. And so if you are going, say, 1 above the line here, for example, then 12 would be 1 square above the line as each as the, the line here is 10, and 1 square above would be another 2. So that's basically our line. We now have to find an estimate for the number of lorries with a speed of more than 90 kilometres. So we go to 90 kilometres, come up, and then come across. So we come across, then we've got this coming across to, it's just slightly dipped there, let's say it's um, 3 below the line, so 3 twos below 80 would give me 6, 6 below 80 is 74. Now that's 74 up to 90, it's 100 altogether, so it's going to be 26 from the line to the top, to another 26, that's the difference between 100, the total number of drivers, and 74, the number we estimate to be driving up to a speed of 90 kilometres. So the answer then we're going to give using this guide is 26 drivers. They'll allow a slight degree of flexibility here because of where the line is put, so they probably accept anything between about 24 and 28. So around 26 is your answer.